completely different. Okay, but the Michael Keaton one wasn't. Hello. Hello. Yeah, We're just talking about people's reactions when they don't win Oscars. Yeah. Mostly yeah. they do really this. Nice. Oh, thank you. Yeah, they should do, um, they should do more, f like, ham up their disappointment. Yeah. To make it a joke. Yeah. Okay, running up. This is James from ITF. Speed. Hello, mm. James. Hello, Gemma. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Congratulations on this uh, very different movie. I suppose when you read the script, you were like, okay, this is mad, <laughs> but why not? Let's yeah, do it. I loved it. I was um, I was looking for something that was different to what I had been doing, which was very sort of mainstream and um, not really my cup of tea. So I, I, um, this was right up my street, actually. I have quite a t dark taste in humour, and, and I like my cinema to be kind of out there and a bit different. And uh, I, yeah, I loved it. I loved it. I thought it was totally brilliant and original, and um, I thought the writing was fantastic. Michael R. Perry is a gifted, very gifted scenarist, so yeah, very, very, very excited when I got the opportunity. I like the kind of darkly funny thing it says about the voices in our heads, because I guess we're all rather weird, but you just do your best to contain it every day. Yeah, and who's to say, you know, we all here have our own internal monologues and we all have our own um, little ticks and our own mental, um, you know, who's to say, if that's normal to you, who's to say another thing isn't normal to another person? Um, and that's what this film, I guess, is about, in a way, um, about, about, about what is the right way to be. Yeah. Um, well, what's your inner monologue telling you on a day like today? Usually my inner monologue is telling me, <laughs> on a day like today, it's saying, oh, goodness, I'm tired, oh, goodness, I'm tired, oh, goodness, I'm tired. Um, and usually my inner monologue has got something to do with, Gemma, you should have done this, but how about this, and have you read this, and da 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 Many shoulds. Um, it's like a list of things a list, you need to be doing. A list, yes. Because you've got a lot on your plate. So it's, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's just working through stuff the list. You to sleep, essentially. Yeah. And Ryan Reynolds as well. What I like about his career and the choices he makes is even though he's a big leading man, he does like to do these little offbeat films every now and again. So that must have been fun to know that he was involved. Yeah, he's, um, he's an extraordinary actor. I think underrated. And um, this film is really a showcase for his acting ability. He's absolutely phenomenal in it, and um, not an intri not an, not an easy role for an actor. Um, very very complex, very very hard to make sympathetic, uh, which he does effortless, seemingly effortlessly. Um, and he's just got a really a really great way of working. Very 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 committed, without being sort of method and um he pre he prepares obviously prepares very very hard he not only played his character but he also voiced the animals and um and he was just he was he, i remember being stunned by him on set i just thought he was wonderful so he's into it but he's not too distant so you can still try and connect oh you can have fun with him on level. set yeah absolutely and i think you know everyone has their own way of working and i know sometimes when you need to if you're doing a particularly hard scene emotionally you need to create a bit of distance from the cast and crew and, and be in your place and do that that's what you have to do but on this he just he was always playing with us and 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 having fun on set and when the camera would chat cut he'd 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 be Ryan being funny and and he's good at impressions as well. He did. I saw a press conference. He did a very funny impression of Harvey Weinstein. So I, oh goodness, <laughs> I'd love to see that. <laughs> right next to him as well. That was what was so funny. Oh, he's really funny. Um, that was something I didn't expect from Ryan actually. How funny he is naturally, and he's very good at. You're right. Very good at impressions. Very good at accents. Um, and he's just got great comic timing. Um, that I was very surprised to see that. So it's great. And on a personal level, you've been on the stage recently as well. Are you quite um, proud and happy with having the variety when it comes to your career? Yeah, that's, that is, for me, um, always what I wanted to be doing as an actor. In fact, I didn't even th think I'd do films. So, you know, what do What do you think you'd be doing? Always theatre. I never oh, wanted to be a film actor. Commercial, I thought you were going to say, I, you know. I, no, oh, adverts. <laughs> or be on the bill. Be on the bill. No, I never thought, I, I never went into acting to be a film actor. I even didn't really grow up watching films. I, 
I was a film actor, uh, always theatre. So, um, you know, for me to be lucky enough to be able to do all all different types of uh, the medium for me is is really exciting and keeps it exciting for me and keeps flexing your muscles and um, I'm actually I've been doing theatre for so long now for nine months I'm sort of nervous to go back into filming because it's a different way of working. What are you doing next? I'm doing a film called L'Histoire d'Amour which is um, a French one. French production but it's in the English language and it's with John Hurt and um, I'm also doing a film called She Who Brings Gifts with Paddy Constein. Um I'm quite excited about all of my projects I've got coming up because they are brilliant. <laughs> awesome. I'm sure they will be. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Thanks, guys.